Hello. Welcome to Laura Kane After Dark. Thank you so much for listening, wherever you're listening, on Spotify, on iHeart, on YouTube, on uh, Apple. We really appreciate it for all these years. We've been, now we're doing our fifth year. And I'm really trying really hard to be professional right now because, oh, I'm Laura Kane, by the way, and Eric Rimmer sitting next to me. Oh, uh, tonight I'm going by Cher. He is wearing a silver sequins bodycon long sleeve V neck dress. That's I figured what I would do was since you're selling all this stuff at the swap meet, I would let everybody know what you're selling. Oh, God. So I'm like a living, breathing advertisement. There's for you. some things in there that I don't want people to see. Oh, there's some numbers there, oh in there. Oh, my God. I know, yeah. right? I know. Okay. First of all, it's crazy. Can, can you reach around and. Flip that out. Here. Oh, thank you. That you was to zip, zip him up too. Oh man, he fits into my clothes. <laughs> we fit into each other's clothes. Oh my god, you'll double your. Is wardrobe. he a small man? He just a big woman. <laughs> both. <laughs> I think it's both. We're both. I'm big boned, and you're little boned. <laughs> I don't know. What are we? We're the same exact size and probably the same weight. <laughs> oh my god. What are you? One forty-five. Oh, I'm one seventy. Oh, thank God. Well, you have muscle. I don't really have any muscle right now. Um, Okay. Before we get into everything, you guys, please subscribe to our channel. That would be great. And something else that you might be rewarded for, but we would really, really appreciate is for you to fill out the survey we just put on our website, lauracaneafterdark.com. You'll see it right there on the front page, right under watch now with Eric and I's picture. It's a survey. And if you put your email in there, it's optional. But if you do, we're going to put each email in a bowl. And at the end of the month, we're going to pick out a name. $100 bill goes to there you. There you go. And a Laura Kane After Dark t-shirt goes to you as well. Now, I'm going to take and, said t-shirt. And maybe, maybe even this lovely little get If up. you want it, you can have it. <laughs> but I, what I'm doing right now is taking this t-shirt. I'm going to put it over your lap because your wiener is about to come flying <laughs> have out. Have you seen it yet? I'm... It's gotten very, very close. I may have seen Tip. I may hear. Will you please put this on your lap? Yes. Oh, my God. Like, wow. It's like being at the gynecologist when you put that paper thing over your knees so your crotch doesn't show. Now you won't be pulling at it. See, it's hard being a woman in all these tight clothes looking sexy for men. No, we look sexy for ourselves. I was going to (laughs) say. We look sexy for other women and, and ourselves. Well, I'm not trying to look sexy for anybody. <laughs> I'm just trying to model your clothes that you're oh selling. My God. Well, Isn't that itchy? It looks itchy. Uh, it, it's n- not very comfortable. Yeah. No. Look how low it is. It, if, that, it is very sexy. I've ne- That's something I've never worn. This Why do actually, you have it then? I, because I told you. Did you I, buy stuff? I mean, no, no, no. I didn't buy this. This was oh. donated and uh, no, it, was, it was given to me. Because they wanted to get rid of it, and I said I'll take it because I'm selling stuff at the swap meet. Wait, so she, they're like, Let, we're going to donate this stuff for the cause. Like, no. no, let me make a profit. <laughs> oh no, no, they weren't going to like. No, I'm saying this we're all like wrong. Whores are us. Saying this I'm all like, wrong. Oh my god, <laughs> that's that came out completely wrong. Were they donating it to like a strip shop or something? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, you're going to be boiling hot. You, is the fan on you? Good. Yes. We would love it if you'd fill out that survey. It would really help our show improve. Yeah, more dresses on (laughs) Eric or less? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, hold on. Maybe this is a thing. Oh God, careful. Oh God, be careful. careful. It's a little mini. Oh, I can't. (laughs) That, don't go any, don't go on your tiptoes. the water bottle right there. Don't go on your tiptoes. Watch. Eric, you're going to, oh Jesus. He's going to flash his wiener. (laughs) Turn around, turn around. Let's see if he sees his butt. <laughs> Wait, t- keep turning. Not keep much. turning. Keep turning. Keep turning. Oh my god, it's barely covering your butt. You you like this. He likes how it. Is a, how would that cover a chick's 
a chick's butt or barely, anything. barely. Yeah. N- oh my! Not God. at all. But that's the point. I think. I think. Put that on your. That I don't hard. want a wiener coming out. Put this on your lap. <laughs> yes, dear. All right. Before we get started with my host chat, which is a report that I am doing for the good of everybody, because if you wanted to know about this particular thing, I now know a bunch. So I'll I'm be giving the a judge report. Of that. Okay, I'm sure you will be the judge of that. You judger of all things. <laughs> the word judge you're looking Judy. for is judgmental. <laughs> okay, let's talk about Jay Wurzler. Let's talk from about Capital Jay. Growth Inc. Let's talk about Jay, baby. baby. Let's talk about Jay, baby. Um, he is a financial analyst, a financial planner, a certified financial planner, a certified financial, I mean, a certified divorce financial analyst. I always I mis- mix up those letters. CDFA. He has a lot of different titles. He has a lot of different licenses. What he does is manage money. And he does it so well because he's been doing it for over 36 years. He's been with the same company. They are a strong company. They're here in San Diego, obviously. Capital Growth Inc., right in the UTC area. He would love it if you'd give him a call, if you have some money to manage, if you are worried about retirement and you have questions. Absolutely. Get a hold of Jay Wurzler. That's his specialty. Retirement monies. He wants you to be comfortable in those years. Don't you want to be? I do. I do. I'm never going to be able to retire at this rate. But anyway, and th- unless Mr. Wright comes along. Or Mr. Wright now. I want to be taken care of. I'm sick I'll take, of, ta- I'll take care I'm of you. I'm sick don't of worry. taking care of myself. Don't I worry. Really I'll am. take care of you. Anyway, Jay Wurzler, what's his phone number? <laughs> <laughs> his phone number is 858 858- Five five two six nine six zero. You can email Jay too if you have a question, maybe a small one, maybe a big one, maybe you just want to reach out to contact. You him. totally can, and it's J A Y W at capitalgrowthinc.com dot com. And the website is capitalgrowthinc dot com. There you go. Awesome. If you want someone to take care of you, you might start wearing some of these dresses. <laughs> yeah. Right. I know. That's the that's the key. Mm-hmm. Huh? Anyway. Uh, now let's talk about my other favorite people. I have lots of favorite people. We have, a, we have many. We have we Megan do. Root too, but we'll yes, talk about we Megan do. Root in a minute. First, let's talk about La Jolla Cosmetic Surgery oh. Center and Med Spa. Yes. Oh my gosh, I got you addicted to them too. It just you just love their products and their mm-hmm. Med Spa, especially. Hi, Doctor Riedler. Hi, Hi love, Monique. Hi, Doctor Swiston. Thank Hi, you for Dr. my Swiston. boobs. And uh, here's more about La Jolla Cosmetic. We are so thrilled to welcome our favorite place ever, La Jolla, La Jolla Cosmetic, Cosmetic Surgery, Surgery Center, Center and Med Spa, Med Spa to the podcast. I've been seeing the doctors and injectors and estheticians there for many years, and I can't stop raving about their incredible service. I've been so happy with my results. La Jolla Cosmetic Surgery Center and Med Spa offers over 90 procedures and treatments for a more natural, rejuvenated appearance. That's what I love. Thousands of five-star reviews, flexible payment plans, free consultations. Go to GlamFam.com for reviews, before and after photos, and their special treatment planner. That's, That's GlamFam.com. Glam Call today to make an appointment. You will not be disappointed. Okay, my host chat is something I posted on my Instagram story about a week ago. I have been wondering, what is the deal with Timu? The little orange thing, you've seen it, it's orange, and it says Timu, it's a little square, and download the app. Here are the coupons. Everything is dirt cheap. Mm -hmm. It looks, it's like Shein, but on steroids. steroids. Yeah. Okay. Did you buy something from No. Okay. I asked about it first. I I just did. Well, let me tell you you what- Oh, no. I asked my people on Instagram. I said, should I use this website? Mm-hmm. Tell me, has the anybody experts. used it? Has anybody? Hey, my followers are experts. I have a lot of people and I got a lot of different information. So here's my report no. on Timu. Here's my report on Timu. These are different comments I got. First, Timu, this is what they say. They say free shipping, free returns, crazy low prices, big, huge coupons they have, right? Mm-hmm. And, um, and, and it's like Shein, like we said. Here's what people say about it, for real, that have actually ordered something. People are getting hacked. Oh, no. Cheap stuff from China, great for holiday decor and party favors. Okay. It's cheaply made. Mm-hmm. Coupons have too many catches. Unethical, unsustainable. Good point. It's fine. 
said somebody else. Bad shipping company. They use a shipping company called Piggy Ship. Somebody else said, it's legit. You'll get addicted. Items arrive in a week. Somebody else said, it's hit and miss. Sizes run small. Oh. Good for cheap, random crap, somebody said. Girl, yes. Lots of good party decorations. Again, Mm -hmm. party decorations. Trademark infringement. Unauthorized copies. Stealing credit card information. Oh, no. I got all that information, too. And shipping takes forever. And then I got shipping as fast. So that is what I learned about Timu. People are getting hacked. That's what one of the comments said. People were Mm. DMing me their experiences with Timu. And so, because I wanted to order something. So what did you order? I ordered a t-shirt. So we'll see what happens. I ordered ordered it in in a large and it it has a, it has, well, it it has Jesus peeking around a corner. It says, I saw that. Like you needed yeah, another t-shirt, course. but I that's, know. that's funny. It I is like funny. It. And it was like four bucks. So did you pay shipping or was shipping no, free? Shipping was free. So you, you spent, you put $4 on your credit card. Mm-hmm. You only spent $4. Yeah. You better check that credit card just in case. Yeah. Just in case, because that was, I'm just telling you what people have said. My own opinion now, I don't, I think I'm going to stay away from that. Yeah, I, I'm going to stay away. From I that. will let you know. You should stay away from spending money. I have been. What mm. I've been trying to make money. Mm. That's good. Mm-hmm. Hence my kitchen, which is still a mess because yeah. I couldn't do the swap meet this week, and I have to wait until yes. another weekend. The only money being made off of that is Eric's OnlyFans it's about to drop with all oh, his outfits. Oh, for sure. Honestly, I'm not, and I'm not. This is no joke. You, you are, you and your girlfriend are are shopping the Spring Valley swap meet. Your girlfriend sees this dress hanging on a rack. Just pretend no. Just pretend she liked it. Just pretend. She wouldn't. Well, okay. She wouldn't, but pretend. If I had that listed for five bucks, would you buy that for five dollars? Probably. Is that a good price for that? Sure. Sure. Because it's more than a dollar. I mean, it does catch the light very, What about ten dollars? Nice. Too much. $10 if they would buy much. it at all, then yeah, five right. bucks is probably fine. Okay. I could see a lot of people not buying that at all, though. I have like a 50 cent pile, a dollar pile, it's, and a $5 it's pile. super short. <laughs> People like that. Girl, well, women like that. Mm-hmm. Some women like to show a little bit of their ass cheeks. If you are a man or a lady with a wiener, this is not the dress for you. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is not the dress for you because it will come out. But anyway, that's my that's the team move. So yeah, let us know if you en- end up getting your t-shirt or oh. if your credit card goes bonkers. Oh it might take God. forever to get that shirt too. Yeah. Since it wasn't a big. If they come for, if like the product is coming from China, it has to go through customs. So. Yeah, it yeah. does. Well, someone said shipping's fast and the other one says shipping takes forever. So I'm just giving you what I've learned. Right. All right. So what is your host chat? So over the holiday, I did a little walk and my walk wound up at the mall. Over the Labor Day holiday. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. I know what mall you like. Mm-hmm. Which mall? It's right down near the border. Oh, so oh, well, no, this this was uh, that wasn't the border. Fashion Valley. Oh, I, he he likes the what is it called? Oh, that uh, yes, the outlets down yes. there. I forgot what they're called. The San Isidro outlets. Yes. yes. Yeah. So you found those in Fashion Valley. I did. These shoes that look very um, is this is this Versace um, look? Is, well, it, is that this the, kind this of the is, style? This is Aldo. Okay. The so, camera is here, by the way. Yeah. These are. <laughs> he always does that. Tennis shoes. I kind of like them. These are I size think I really do like them. Eleven. That's a big foot. Thank you. <laughs> um, guess how much I got them for. And they were comfortable. So you went to Fashion Valley to get this at the Fashion Valley Aldo. This is well, a- I oh. went. I just went. Just to walk because, but you found this at the actual like mall, mall, not an yes. outlet center. No, but they were having a Labor Day sale. I'm thinking 19.99. Nope. 29.99. I don't know. Nine bucks. How did you get them that cheap? How? Yeah, yeah they were on clearance. Still, for Aldo's not that cheap. No, no. the shoes retailed for 180. You're joking. <laughs> no. Wow. So when those things were <laughs> new in the showroom, they had a $180 price tag on yeah. them. Damn. 
And they lost a lot of money on that. Yeah. Or maybe, I don't know how much they lost, but dang. Yeah. Were there, did you buy anything else? No. You bought nothing else at the mall? No. Did you buy food? Uh, did you go to the food court? No. Okay. Just one pair of shoes. Just one pair of okay. shoes. Okay. Not that you needed it, but. No. But, I, but <laughs> I'm sure. good showing restraint. Yes. Because usually he comes back with five pair. Yes. That has happened on multiple occasions. It, yes. <laughs> um, but that good grab. Good yes, grab. Yes. It was great. So I have a round of rando news that you guys are going to really enjoy, I hope. But first, let's talk about Megan Root from Milestone Properties. Oh my God. Hi, Megan. This little home sweet home is especially for her because... Her favorite thing in the whole wide world. Oh, she's a realtor. She's a broker. She can list your house. She can uh, help you sell your house. She can help you buy a house. She can do everything. She's a one-stop shop. And she has people under her that do all the other stuff, too. So she... She, she really does it all. Yeah. And she has, she's also a military relocation professional. Mm -hmm. She is a first-time buyer specialist. She's a certified mortgage advisor, which is really great. She can crank numbers for you. And she also, oh, my God, I'm trying to be professional, Megan. I'm so sorry this is happening. He's really fiddling down there. I don't want to look. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep it. Oh, the dress totally rode up. I know. I Yike. almost know. Uh, she offers free personal consultation and a path to home ownership if maybe you are a first-time home buyer and mm -hmm. you don't know where to start. You start with Megan Root at Milestone Properties, and yeah. her phone number is right here. 619-654-6980. And you can email her at Megan, M-E-G-A-N, at MilestonePropertiesCA.com. And then all that is on LauraCaneAfterDark.com. It is Milestone Properties, helping California plant roots for almost 30 years. Okay. Thank you, Megan. Thank you, Megan. We love you. Put this on your lap. I cannot see your wiener tonight. <laughs> you can. I, I mean, you easily. You can. For, for, I hundred, know. for $100, you can. <laughs> I know. I know. My $100 bill. I oh, it's got to be for free. All right. So, will you play my little rando? Do I have a rando news music? Yes, I do. Um, Something. I want some... There we go. This oh, is terrible. No, this is great. This is happy. Be positive. No more negativity, Brian. Thank you. No, doesn't this make <laughs> <laughs> 10 things we all do but never mention. When you have to spell the word the word Wednesday, do you sound it out in your head? Wednesday? No. Every time you spell it? Maybe. No. Do you ever come across a distinct smell that takes you back to a vague childhood memory, but you can't quite put your finger on it? No. I, that happens to me every once in a while. Do you ever bump into something when you're alone and say, ouch? All the and time. And nobody's around. Yeah. Even though it didn't hurt, really? Do you say ouch yeah. still? I've also said, excuse me. Oh, you would say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you're alone in your house. Yeah. When you pee and it's totally clear, are you proud of yourself because you're super hydrated? Pro probably. Yeah. yeah. Every time every time that happens to me, I'm like, Yeah, which never doing, happens to you. Yes, it does. No, it you doesn't. don't think I drink enough water? Probably not. Do you drink water? That's all I drink. Water, 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 water. Water and, and beige and, food. And Red, Red Bull. Red Bull. Well, Red Bull hey. gummy bears. I really cut down on the Red Bull a whole heck of a lot. And then I got a phone call from my friend who was at Costco who said, Laura, a big case of Red Bull's on sale for under $30. And you should, you said no, right? Oh, God. It's in my refrigerator. Right oh, now. my God. I'll take it off. Man, you, you fold you like some. a house of cards. No. I hadn't had one in a while. I know I did. I relapsed. Oh, no, on Red Bull. Oh, no. But not on gummy bears. I haven't had any gummy bears. Good. Have I, you pooped? I, not today. What? No. Yesterday? Oh. Um, No. Oh, what? <laughs> oh my God. I told you I only poop like tw three times a week or twice. Oh my God. How I is that know. possible? I don't, don't want to talk about it. God, I was four <laughs> times before I left the house now, this that morning. that is not right. That doesn't seem no, correct. No, that's, that's fine. Yeah. That is not fine. That's not, I don't it's, think that's healthy to How poop else do you think I'm going to fit into your clothes? <laughs> how can you poop four times before you go to work? Easy. 
Oh, wait, wait. Before you go to work, like, in the morning? He does. He'll sit. I left the house at 9.45 this morning, and I had pooped four times. What time did you wake up? Well, I I woke up at 3. Okay. So, from 3 to to 9. Okay. Well, you know, there was extenuating circumstances there. There was. But that's not anything unusual. (laughs) He'll call me and say, this is the eighth time I've pooped today. That is not normal, Brian. Oh. (laughs) Yeah. On some days where uh, you eat something and I, w- I will, I will remain steadfast on my claim that I don't like things setting shop in there. I understand setting that. up shop in there. So yeah, I sometimes instead of letting it all pile up, you just want to get it out. Yeah, it, with, without too much uh, information, mm-hmm. is each time significant? Most of the time, yes. Wow. Okay. But I also take psyllium husk. I know that damn That's silly good. husk. Yeah, I yeah. do take that too. You do e- every day. It was like, or just when it you was a poop? life changer. Did you do it because of what he said? No. Oh, okay. You already did that. Uh, I don't know if guys do this, but I want to know if women do this. When you're in a public restroom, do you tear off the first piece of toilet paper because somebody may have yes. touched it? No. Yes. You don't. Oh. I don't use I public do. restrooms that often. Well, sometimes you gotta go. Sometimes you no, gotta go. I can go. hold it. Oh, you can I, hold your pee. Yeah, I right. don't. I don't pee at public restrooms hardly, like maybe once a year. Oh my god! Well, you recently went to Disneyland. How many times did you pee while you were in Disneyland? Oh, uh, probably like once or twice. Okay. Well, maybe somebody else isn't drinking Disneyland enough water. Disneyland has clean bathrooms, though. I'm sure they do. I haven't and been I to drink b- a crap ton of water. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, Louise. When you think a song or a movie is amazing and you tell people about it and then suddenly you feel self-conscious, like, uh-oh, I hyped this up way too much. Have mm-hmm. you ever done that? No. Yes, you have. You've done it to me several times. Oh, well, okay. I've, I've thought it was really good. You just didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't feel bad, though. When your pet is on your lap and you need to get up, do you ever try to explain to them, I have to go get a drink, but I'll be right back, I promise. No. I talk to my, I talk to Elvis like that. We know. We do. I have full (laughs) on, full on conversations with the dog. I tell him where we're going, what we're picking up. Mm -hmm. I read him the list. Like we have full, and he understands me. I swear to God, he understands me. (laughs) Elvis, do you understand mommy? (laughs) <laughs> um, okay, now here are some social norms that make no sense when you really think about them, okay? Okay. Paying tens of thousands of dollars to bury a corpse in the ground. Ridiculous. Agreed. What is the thing with that? Just light Agreed. me on fire. Seriously, yeah. me too. Yeah. I don't want to be buried in, no, anymore. I want to be lit on fire because then I want you to be able to carry me around or, in a locket. This is a fight me and my girlfriend have. Because she wants you to be buried. She wants both of us to be buried. And I oh, think that's together. too oh. much money and not worth it. It's so expensive. Funerals are so expensive. Who cares? What? Who cares? Okay. What about this? What do you think about this idea? What if you have some land, say you live in Ramona, and grandma dies? Uh, I think what you're suggesting is illegal. It, is that, I mean, yeah. should it be, could it be legal? Could it be uh, something maybe. that maybe could people maybe. Sh- could fight for? Maybe. I mean, wouldn't you want grandma on your land? I need some rules around it. but Oh, for sure. And again, do you want to buy a piece of property that's got someone's grandma buried in the back? <laughs> no. no. The, I mean, the, the hope is that you'd stay in that house forever. You're all, uh, you can't put a pool there. <laughs> Grandma's buried. Can you imagine <laughs> no. if yeah, you a bought a house and, and you decided to put a pool in and there was like a <laughs> casket back there? You're just oh digging my up God. a little thing and boom, dead grandma. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God, that is awful. But still, when you think about it, Balloons make no sense. Here is a big plastic thing full of my breath. Happy birthday. <laughs> Balloons are pointless. Okay. You've got a couple of big plastic now. things that hold your breath. <laughs> no, they, they're full of, what are they, saline? Silicone. Or sil- some, one of those. One of those. Um, Doesn't even know. But they, they go up and I down forgot. when you breathe. <laughs> See? Yeah, they do, don't they? There you go. What about ties? How do you guys feel about ties? Neckties? Yeah. They're cool. They're all right. You don't have a problem with that? It's it's kind of a little... Do you have... Do you know the origin of ties? Because what... How how did that... I'm not a nerd. How did that... You know a lot of weird stuff, Brian. Yeah, okay. Not the origin of neckties, clearly. But that's kind of weird if you think about it, don't you? It is kind of an interesting custom. 
What about cards? Giving cards to people? Couldn't I care less. I, I like doing that. I think I like doing that I too. They're, they're freaking expensive. They are. And that bugs the crap out Especially of me. Especially papyrus. They're like $10, yeah. $14. They're cool, though. They are cool. I don't yeah. know. Cards are just, I get it, but I don't know. What if, have you ever received a card that just has touched your heart? Like that you've kept? I don't. Yeah, uh, I keep a lot of cards. Okay. I don't think any of them have touched me on a personal. Maybe, probably a few, but eh, you could just say it to me. Really? In, instead of spending $10 on a card? I guess I don't really care either way. I don't know. How do you guys feel about clapping? It's a social norm, but it's kind of weird sure. when you yeah, think clap. about it. Do you know how awkward yeah. it'd be if you did something and there was just silence? What if like people just started doing this? Oh, God, day? that would be weird. That would so be stupid. so weird. People do that. Like, feel like I was at some sort of like a weird <laughs> yeah. like cult retreat or Clap, something. Clapping is weird, but it's the best way we have. Oh, that would be that would be annoying. Yeah, the alternative <laughs> is worse. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what about acknowledging other people's sneezes? That you know, bless you. Bless well, you. I, I think, sorry, I think bless they should you. be ignored. I think if it's so. I think it's so ingrained though that you feel like an asshole if you don't do it. You sneeze. You say excuse me, and everyone else pretends like it never happened. Like if you were to sneeze and I just sat here and stared at you, wouldn't you be like? I'd be like, <laughs> excuse me. Or just ignore it. Just be like. Hmm. What if I just looked at you and said, um, you have snot on your upper lip? <laughs> I, I would, I'd just be like, okay, will you get it off Well, for you me? should have to say that regardless if we say not, less I or not. Feel like this. <laughs> oh my God. And then purses. They're super useful. Why can't men carry purses? You, That's gay. No, it, but don't, I, I feel like, don't no. you want your crap with you? Don't I just you want heard, your stuff with you? I, did you hear, I, I, I don't know if it was Drake or it was, it was one of the rappers that collects Birkin bags. And he gave some girl a pink Birkin bag that was worth $30,000 that was in the audience. I think it was her birthday or something. But he it, he's a str- Does he guy use that, the purses? I mean, I he, don't know. He, you just know he collects Birkin bags. I, I personally just think there's... You carried a Louis Vuitton backpack for a long time. That's I do. A I backpack. still have one. That's not yeah. the same thing. No, it's, I would not carry. Like, I have a cross bag. Okay, a man. So you a, have a man bag. A man you, bag, So you yeah. kind of have a purse. Yeah. Uh, when you go to the mall, do you carry anything with you? No. Okay, just your wallet and your back pocket. I do find it. I find this odd. And don't send me any messages. It's just my opinion. I'm not making fun of anybody. Uh, oh, here we go. But I find it weird when I see men that have painted nails. Yeah, I'm a hundred percent. It's I don't trend. becoming more and more. It's a lot of straight men it, too. It yeah. is, and it's just odd to I'm, see I'm like hairy, hairy knuckles with I like. The, I love it. No, I hate I, it. I don't like it. I just find it. There was odd. a guy that was helping me. I forgot what he had. Black nails with like flames on them. Ugly. They looked so cool. They I had know. designs on them. I'm and not, everything. I'm not. You know, to each his own, and you can do whatever you want. It for me, it's just not. I think for they should me. be outlawed. What about guy liner? Just kidding. No. No. Have you ever put makeup on? This your face? coming from a dude that's wearing a glittery. <laughs> yeah, you have no right to judge yeah. anybody. He has his priorities straight. The dress is one thing. The makeup is another. Okay. And the nails. I think guys and nail polish. Once again, I'm I'm just doing Brian. this to promote your new clothing line. Now, yeah, what is be, it called? Slut. That, that you're going to be debuting at the at the uh, my Spring clothes. Valley Swap Meet. <laughs> oh my Introducing God. slut. <laughs> I look like the mother of a solid gold dancer. Oh my god, Brian! Yes, would you let me? No. Come on, let me nope. finish. Put a full nope. face of makeup on you. No. Why not? Why should I? For the show. No. I want to see what you would look like with fake lashes, nope. some eyeshadow, some blush, nope. some little contouring. Nope. Maybe a wig. Nope. What would it take? Because I'm not interested in cross dressing. I just want to see how, what you would look like as a woman. No, That's all. I, I don't feel the need to see that. Um, but I do. I don't, I don't either. Yeah, thank oh, you. Thank you, no, Eric. Two against one. That's and not I don't, fair. And I don't feel the need to see Eric in a full face of woman's makeup. If he wants to, that's no, fine. No, I, I don't already feel the know need to see him. his opinion on that. What? He doesn't like any th- uh, that kind of stuff. I don't like stuff on my face either. Like that. That's weird. Mm-mm. I don't. Yeah. What is your facial routine at night? Wash my face. Put some lotion on it. You just put and how how many steps is your facial? Oh God, routine? you don't. Yeah. Oh Jesus, how how long do we have? Oh my God. I will God. say 
Occas- once or twice a week, I do do a, like a Kiehl's like thing a lotion oh, on my face. Yeah. Kiehl's is cool. Do you guys ever do face masks? Yes. Sometimes. Okay, the best place to get the face masks that just lay on your face that are wet when you take them out of the package is Ross. Oh, yeah. Make you sure, would say that. No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> but make sure you read the back the, the that there's no alcohol in it. I, I get the ones that have no alcohol. Remember when we did that glamour night and we get, did like three face masks? Yeah. Oh, was, was wasn't great. that fun and great? Oh, it was great. My skin looked like it was just a baby's bottom you in the morning. You buy like 10 for like Five ninety nine. Yeah. It's really cool. I love doing face. You would masks. buy your groceries at Ross if you could. I love. I just. Love, it's like a treasure hunt. That's why it is. And I have one final question. Yes. When okay, you pretend you're going on a trip. Okay. For a week. Okay. How many pair of underwear do you pack? One for each day. Yeah. Only one for each day. You pack seven for seven days. Yeah. Maybe, I, maybe I pack. Eight. I pack half. Whoa. Oh, because That's you... That's too little. Because I barely wear underwear. So if you're gone a week, you're going to pack three or four. Yeah. But f- probably three. I'm packing yeah. one each. Unless I'm washing clothes, I'm packing one each day minimum. I I bring two. Two a day. The, two a day. Two, wait, a, two a, day. a day? I bring like 14 pair. Why? Just because... You change like, underwear twice a day? I might, yeah. Like, okay, pretend... What? Just pretend I'm in Cabo, right? How? Okay, let me I'm ask like, you this I'm, question. I'm out, I'm out during the day. Da, 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 da. At night, I'm going to change, change my underwear. Underwear? Because I'm going to take a shower, and then I'm going to go out that night. And do you how, how often what I'm do saying? you come back, and how many pairs have you used? All of them? No. No, I do come back with some clean undies. Okay, I shower once a day. When I shower is when my underwear gets changed. So if I shower in the morning, it's when my underwear gets changed. If I don't shower till the like, the evening, that may be when my underwear gets changed. Each underwear gets 24 hours. Roughly. Is there ever a day that you don't shower? No. Okay. Oh, there have been days when I haven't showered. Me too. Oh, I'm Me sure too. those days have existed, but they are few and far between. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sometimes I'll take two baths a day. Sometimes. That is such a waste of water, Eric. No, you fill it up once. Oh, God, no. And then what? You dip back into it? Oh no! I mean, no. I, at two, a time, no. You you that's fill two up tubs of water. Though. Two tubs of water a day. That's but a lot of it's water. More than it's less than taking a shower. Maybe I don't. I don't oh, think baths need- are actually all that hygienic. But see, I'm. I like to read. I also don't like my shower to get all spotted with water. So I like to. When you get out of the bath, do you shower off what was on you, or do you just get out of? the I bath? stand up. Uh, so what I do... Because that... I've, I agree with you, Brian, on that kind so of... So this is what my routine is. Okay. <laughs> so I will um, turn the water on. Mm-hmm. Um, if it's extremely cold out, it will be medium to hot. If it is uh, warm out, it will be medium to cold. I will put all my bath salts and bubbles in. I'll have my book on the side of the tub. Mm-hmm. I keep my phone there so that I can check the time. And then... Do you uh, have a pillow? I do. Okay. And then I will read or listen to music. Um, and then I will stand up, put all the body scrub and stuff on. And then I will sit back down, wash it all off. And then I will get out. But you got to wash all that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. here's, here's my problem with baths. One, they get cold. Mm-hmm. Two... They're so e- they're so difficult to actually soap up, like you're you're constantly in the water. You have to like stand up to stand get up to soap get up, your parts, which yeah. is weird to me. Third, also, you then get back into the water with all the shit you just washed off I yourself. Know, it's so true. I love baths. Oh, I, I love. Baths I think so baths much. are great if you're not trying to get clean, you're just, or if you're just doing it to soak. That's fun, or if you're trying to relax. Oh, but if the, with the purpose of like washing, like getting clean. Eh. Do you use a loofah? I or do. do you use a, a uh, washcloth? I, I use a brush, a scrub Ooh. brush. I cannot use washcloth. Uh-uh. Those it's gross, gross me no. out Lu- to the Lufas max. Loofahs are the best. Sa- agreed. Yeah. Ag- I'm How glad hot we- you guys like the water too? Oh, not hot. I, I do what? like b- barely, oh. barely warm. I Yo. like a lukewarm shower. You know hotter is better for your skin too when you're trying yeah. to get clean. Yes. Well, I do like hot. I can't, I, like I can't water. do, I cannot do that. See, I can't do hot on my body and I can't do hot in my mouth. In your mouth? Like I couldn't eat that chip. Oh, okay. I can't do that. I you were like, why are you showering your mouth out? <laughs> Aren't you supposed to do that? No. 
But then what? How? What is your? So we know that Brian just slaps uh, lotion. Okay, on his no, face. sorry. Mine's All right, let me. Mine is the, too long. The skin quick, of a newborn baby. Let but. me. Okay, I wash my face twice a day. Once in the shower with just like a bar of like soap, and not like a cheap bar, but like no. You hold wear, on. You have a. You use a bar just for my face, and it's like the hydrating dove or whatever. And and then I put on lotion. I put on the lotion that has an SPF in it. Good boy. Good boy. Good. good boy. And then at night, I wash my face with a. La Roche Posay. Oh, oh yes. Uh, Excuse me. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Yes. And then I have a different lotion for night because I don't like using SPF when I'm going to bed. That's Perfect. It feels weird. That's great. And then occasionally I have a Kiehl's, I don't know what it is, something that I do once or twice a week. Mine, I'm not going to bore you with mine, but mine, it's probably 10 steps just for my face. Mine. That's just for cleaning it. That's just for no. That's that's after I clean it. Oh. That's not even including cleaning it. What besides moisturizer and like what is there? Oh my gosh! There's there's color corrector. There's retinol. Color corrector. Like the just if you have, you have like, jaundice or something. <laughs> no, but you no, sometimes if you, have you get like spots. a dark spot as yeah. you get old, like us. You oh. get, you get these little well, dark do spots. That. Pigmentation. Yeah. So yeah. and then um, under eye cream mm-hmm. and then um, you have then there's this. After the retinol, then you put on um, the regular moisturizer, mm. and then after that, the TNS, which is the special stuff oh, you get I at Lowry Cosmetic. Yes. Oh my God, it's the best stuff ever! And then hydration, and before yes. all that, I do my mask, or maybe two yeah. every day. Every day, every night, you every do two night masks. I do t- at least a mask, at least one. Would you do masks back to back? You're like, oh, there's yes. one. Yeah. Yes. What? We did three when yeah. we were together. How is that beneficial? I do a. It's I do a, one of the masks. I do is a black clay mask, and it has the Oh, you peel that, it off? Yeah, that peels it off for Ooh. you. Oh, yeah. Oh. I do have a charcoal mask that every once in a while I do. Yes, masks are my favorite eh. thing. I do an upper lid. I do the under eye. I have a, one for my T-zone. I have hyaluronic acid. Oh, I have, yeah, I have hyaluronic. Yeah. I have hyaluronic, yeah. I do collagen. Oh, yeah, the collagen. And then I do the um, the oh, needle, God. the... the um, the microderm roller, the whatever it is? The microderm abrasion, yeah. Oh, is that, good. Is that for your beard? No, no, that puts little holes in but, your skin no, so the serum is. gets bit in but there. But when I, oh. let me tell you, the biggest bitch is when I do my facial masks that aren't just one that you lay on to get that out of my beard. It takes more time than. Oh, yeah, I bet. The the, the yeah. ones that you rip off that yeah. get harden. Oh, that yeah. must be and tough. And I may or may not have gone out in public or to work with it still embedded in my beard. And <laughs> oh not my known God, it. I bet, I bet. Yeah. That is, it's hard to get off of my eyebrows. Mm-hmm. I can't imagine this. And when I, because I've got such a hairy chest and hairy legs that when I do the body scrub, it takes forever to get it out. Why don't you shave? No way. Why not? It, don't, wouldn't you look, wouldn't you feel nice, all nice and smooth? No, I do not want to look like a 10 year old boy. <laughs> Okay. I love my hair. He wants to be a dirty Look, he's old He's excited about this dress because it's yeah, in full effect right now. His hair. I don't know about the chest oh, hair. Yeah, right. He that. loves his chest hair. Don't yeah, even. I don't know don't, why. don't. Okay, look at that. Chest hair is what? fine, but that's, a, that's like, a lot. That's like two inches That's long. a lot of chest hair. It's kind of gross. It's really it's long. It's gross, but. It's really, it's really long. Much. It is a little much. But he it, loves it. He loves it. Love it. You cannot talk him out of it. No it's, way. It's a bear thing. So this is why I did. I will. I will manscape. Of course, Thank you. but this is why I don't shave. When I worked for an entertainment company, um, two guys that I work with dared me to shave all my body hair. Okay, for and for twenty five bucks, and I did it. And when that grew back, oh, that it was, was oh, sure. a bitch, really it itchy, painful. Bugs. I was rubbing up against doorknobs and oh yeah, sides of doors. Yeah, you I looked like I had never the, shave all the way down. Oh, I had looked like I had the chicken pox. I everything was a red bump. Oh, oh no. no way. So you have PTSD regarding that. Oh, I would never do that again. Oh my god. I understand that one. Well, yeah. Enough of this talk. It's time to end this podcast. We've been talking no, too I long. Don't want to. Please take our survey. It's on laurakaneafterdark.com. You'll winner gets a hundred dollars and a t-shirt if you fill it out and put your email we're going to put your email on a bowl and then we'll pick up your name at the end of the month if you fill out the form it's easy it's like 10 questions and we would love that so thank you and thank you to capital growth inc thank you thank you, you megan root from Thanks, milestone megan. properties and thank you to la jolla cosmetic thank surgery you, center la jolla cosmetic. And we love you for being our sponsors and 
Thank you so much for listening and watching and love your podcast. I love you. I love you too. And my bra bracelet is stuck to oh, no. your dress. Oh, we're stuck together oh, now. Oh, jeez. Now, now we're... You're just log out. <laughs> I don't want to break my bracelet. If I could turn back time. <laughs> just say it. Love your podcast. Thank you. Love you, my sweet babies. <laughs> Bye. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs>